Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another week of Formula G G2. Uh, we had a week off last week, so uh, I didn't have to worry about anything. But we're back with one, <laughs> one hell of a map. Uh, Brazil non-moving. Brazil moving with time can still suck, but we'll, we'll see what we can do with the non-moving version here. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. Again, we don't have a time limit. We just have. Uh, we just have to do the best we can. Um, Rural do Governo do Estado. Okay. Very. I should have probably maybe practiced more uh, geography or whatnot, but uh, not climate. Kind of deserty jungle. Uh, this might be something. Estado. Governo Obra. Oh, I don't think any of these look familiar. Um. I was thinking Estado might be a state. I don't remember all the names. I didn't think it was, but I don't think there is an E actually at all. Yeah. Um, this kind of road, another thing about Brazil, it's huge. So even if you're like just a little bit off, you're going to lose quite a bit of points. I wish we could read that sign. Something, something, something. Three parts is not bad, but I don't even know if that's a, supposed to be a road number. Uh, if we have kilometer markers, they can give us hints, but we don't even have one of those. Um, and also the roads in Brazil are very, very long, so it's not like they do us a whole lot of good. Um, wonder, maybe I can see a, I don't see a phone number that would really help us. Big, flat, open. A lot of the farm stuff is kind of like in here. Um, can we find a... Estado, Estodo, Estado or something? In here, it might be a big area. Though it might be. I wonder what it means, Oprah. Hmm. Not quite sure. Where are we looking for something? Right, sorry, I just had to make sure I was recording because I had a mistake last week and I didn't want to happen again. So, yeah, we are recording. We are all set. All good to go. Um, really, I mean, this is the only little bit of information we've got. We could try to find something. I'm not going to zoom too far in, like we're not going to read all these little things, so if it's not on this level, I'm kind of just going to give up on it. We don't really have a way. I really think non-moving would be the fun way to be able to use outside information. Because if you just have like a city name or something, you'd be like, okay, well, let me look that up. Because I don't have much information, but what I do, I can do a lot with it. I think that would be my kind of non-moving, but of course that's against the rules, so we won't be doing that here. I do not see Estado or Obra or anything like that. The only words I can read. Just making sure. Um, This kind of open, crazy farmland tends to be in here. I think we're going to just put ourselves in here like this and just hope for the best. We were in this, oh, we were just across the border into Sao Paulo. Thousand points behind Wake Lock, which I don't know why he's doing the challenge. He's not in it anymore, but <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, here we go. Uh, please be a phone number, no. Very weird poster. It's, it's a club of something. Yeah, Latico VIP. 
We're right on the coast. The coast is to our south, but we're not in a big city. Almost the entire south view. So, I mean, but we could be like, like, oh, if it's south, then we probably are around here, around, you know, Rio de Janeiro or something. But you've got these weird things like this. Where you could be tucked back into here. Um, though I don't see land. Oh, there is land. It's a bay for sure. So we're not looking for an ocean. But we're probably close to it. But the problem is there's lots of these big bays. Like, which one do you pick? Anything the ocean is sort of to the east or west. No, we're definitely not that far north. To the east or west. It could be like in here and then if I would if I had patience, what I would do is I would scan the edge of every one of these bays and try to find the uh, Atlantical, Atlantical VIP. on a point so that might help us a little bit we can kind of zoom into these points uh, that doesn't look right that doesn't look right doesn't look right this could be it probably too big of a city though the problem with Brazil is I never know how dense it is Right? Like, oh, it doesn't look like it's that dense. You look at it on the map and you're like, holy crap, this city is just a sp sprawling. It looks like it's huge, but on on ground, right? It's it's not. It's just the roads are everywhere, but there's not very many houses or anything on them. So I can throw a bit of a a wrench into things now and then. Like, we have this huge bay in here we could be along. Hmm. Um, another somewhere in here, maybe? This is... No, it's not going to be like that. It's got to be more like this. We could be down in, in here somewhere. It would be interesting. If we could, if we, if we could move a little bit, we might be able to see San Paulo. That would be really interesting. Be a cool location. I already did play the the regular seed formula one g1 and uh i was very happy with myself for remembering where in san paulo the f1 track was <laughs> formula one track oh this is rio not san paulo san paulo is further down no further up oh it's right there we might be in between it would make the most sense Somewhere in here, along an edge, somewhere. But, I don't know, I I'm gonna put us... The odds of where we are is somewhere in here. I don't know where else we could even put ourselves. Inside of this, maybe? I mean, we're probably along this stretch. So, I'm just gonna put us... I'm gonna gamble and say we're on one of these little inlets right here.
Hmm. I think he's really like the one I'm the most happy with is probably. It's probably this, but it doesn't quite look right. None of it looks right. It's hard with just this one view. Ah. Uh, Make up your mind, Zatomo. Make up your mind. I mean, we could be up here, and we could just be in a loop that faces south. Like this, and then, oh, what do you know? So much coastline of Brazil. Um, There's no beaches. I just had a phone number, it would be really good. Um Just kind of split the difference here and say we're out here somewhere. Oh, I knew it. He got 5,000. No, it's what? Yeah, he got 5,000 points in that round. How did he know? He must have just spent a long time searching. Yep, there it is. No, there's not even a name for it. He must have just found. I don't know how he did that. That's really weird, but props to him. Um, Rancho Fundo. Very dust look a big rainstorm is coming. Again, this looks like where we were in round one, a little bit. Just kind of in this general one of these states right here. So I'm not even gonna try. Woo, that was not bad. <laughs> <laughs> that catapulted us into second place. Okay, wetter dirt jungle. Not rolling, gentle rolling hills, more hilly than that. Um, this is characteristic of more like maybe up here. It's not even a, it's a dirt road too, so it could be... Um, the thicker stuff. Ah. Uh, we were on a national road. That's a Brazilian national road number. Oh, God. Whatever. Ooh, and maybe our best round for last. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Novo Temple. Brada dos Pino. Pino. Pinos? Again, don't have much to go off of. Hoping for a phone number or something on one of these rounds, but nope. Um, this is more to me, speaks more to like this area. Oh, 
Oh, it was way further south than I thought it was. Ah, oh, I thought it was like right here somewhere. It was not bad, but that second round really screwed us. Well, we're fourth. Uh, ben doesn't count. Good job, uh, the organizer. Snowfall, I believe... It took him one minute? He must have just known where that was. Wakelock did the same thing I did. He probably spent a lot of time looking for something and then just was like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> and just zipped through the last of it. Oh. Uh, but he's not in the competition. Snowfall is, so we'll be second uh, as of right now. It's a couple days left. Uh, but yeah, um, not bad in this competition. Again, Brazil, very hard to do, not moving. I'm in, I am happy with round three. We knew we were in here somewhere. Round one, even, we knew we were in this area, but just kind of unlucky. Two was just, are you north with a south-facing bay, or are you south with a regular bay? And you know, he's got to take a gamble. Uh, five, uh, you know, and four, we knew we were in the northern part, uh, but I was just kind of not far up enough, so... Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this shorter video here for the Formula G2 event. Uh, please check out our full coverage of Formula G on our esports channel, GeoGuessr Esports. And I'll see you then. Take care.